Nonomi Okabayashi from Kanazawa University. I'm Yuzuka Yamamoto. I'm a Kanazawa University student. I'm a Kane. I'm a student at Kanazawa University. Hey, hello everyone. My name is Lu Miao. I'm a Chinese and studying in Kanazawa University as a PhD student. Our group introduced traditional houses. First, students at Kanazawa University introduced Japanese traditional houses. Japanese traditional houses some features. Today, I will introduce three features. First, Japanese traditional houses are made of wood. This is because it is suitable for Japanese climate. Japan has a lot of rain, so wood which absorb moisture make our leaves more comfortable. Second, some Japanese houses have touched roof. These rest houses are made 2000 years ago. Touch roof have long history. Finally, floor of Japanese houses are tatami. It is made of rush. The smell of rush is very good, so we feel comfortable when we sit on the tatami. Thank you for listening. Next, student at Kazan introduced Russian traditional houses. Hello, my name is Christina and I am a student of the Far Eastern Federal University. And now I will talk about traditional Russian hacks. Hello, my name is Alia. I'm studying at the Kazan Federal University. Today I will show you the traditional houses of the Tatars. The traditional dwelling of the Tatars was a wooden hut. The houses were fenced with a fence and high gates. Tatar houses were distinguished by their many colors. The main colors used were green, blue, white, and yellow. The facade was decorated with colorful paintings in the form of flowers and birds. Gates, roofs, and architraves were decorated with carvings. Inside the house was divided into female and male parts. Next to the entrance was a stoop. It was installed at a distance from the walls, which formed a passage for women to the kitchen and kept the half longer. The entire front part of the house was furnished with low and white banks silk. We slept warm. Kitchen bedroom windows were covered by curtains, charcoal. Inside the house was decorated with embroidered towels and tablecloths. There are some examples of wooden huts. The Russian hut is a house made of logs in which the Slavic people lived for a long time. In the Russian hut there was only one room, which the owners divided into several parts. In obligatory part of the hut was a stove corner. A favorite subject in the hut is a samurai. Not a single tier party is complete without it. In our time everything has early change. There are modern buildings where students live. Thank you.